also tonight, still no sign of a teenager missing after his boat capsized on a Montcalm County Lake. 16 year old Dalton Gustinus and two of his friends were fishing out on Little Whitefish Lake. This is near Pearson last night when their boat capsized. His friends swam to shore. They were treated for hypothermia, but Dalton has not been found. Well, today dive teams searched with sonar equipment, but they had no luck in finding him. 24 Hour News 8's Crystal Hilliard's been covering this story for us tonight, and she joins us from where the students held a candlelight vigil tonight, Crystal. Brian, tonight hundreds of that 16 year old's friends and teachers gathered here at the high school to pray for him and his family. Some of his loved ones tell us they're happy he's in a better place. Others say they are not giving up hope quite yet. On what was supposed to be their spring break, students, staff, and friends gathered in front of the last place many of them saw Dalton Gustinus. The 16 year old went missing after his boat capsized on a late night fishing trip. Well, I know they haven't found him, and I haven't given up hope. I'm hoping maybe he did make it to shore somewhere. And I just, I just don't know what to think. To, you know, I, I'm just dumbfounded. He would always go fishing and he really liked hunting and he'd always ask me in sixth hour what I was doing and I had no idea, but he was always going outside and doing something with his friends. Best known for his sense of humor, those who loved Gustinus lifted their candles high into the night. Fond memories fresh on their minds. He always made everybody laugh, everybody smile. So it wasn't a day where he didn't make anybody laugh. He was really funny and always made people laugh. And if they're having a bad day, he made it really good. Tonight, it's bowed heads, sorrow filled hugs, and glowing candles. But long term, it's the lesson he left behind that his closest friends pray will live on. Don't go out doing like fishing at night, then, I guess. And make sure you're both safe. People our age can die, you know what I mean? It's, anything can happen. You gotta be careful. Now we know the sheriff's department here is talking to neighboring law enforcement agencies about getting more divers out onto the lake. That search resumes tomorrow morning. We're live in Howard City tonight. Crystal Hilliard, 24-hour news eight.